Hey guys, today I'll show you a gothic horror film. Interview with the Vampire. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins with a shot of the busy city of San Francisco. We slowly move to the city streets where everyone is going about their daily lives. Then, we see a vampire named Louis looking down on the others. He is being interviewed by a reporter who wants to record his life story. Louis reveals his true identity, so reporter thinks that he will simply drink his blood, like Dracula. But Louis reassures him that he's not that kind of vampire. Louis wants to turn on the light, but reporter is confused because vampires are supposed to like the darkness. Louis states that vampires actually love fake lights, and then he unleashes his super speed to turn them on. Reporter is shocked by this revelation, but Louis says that he is not going to hurt him. Now, he decides to talk about how he was born into the darkness 200 years ago. We are then taken to a flashback in 1791 where Louis was still human and a wealthy plantation owner. He's just lost his wife and child to an unfortunate incident, and this leads him to invite death everywhere. One night, after an argument with a gambler, Louis goes to engage in a hormone yoga session with a night lady but doesn't notice a vampire staring at him. By the time his hormones get warmed up, a goon arrives and threatens him. That's when the vampire named Lion shows up and sends everyone to meet Jesus, but spares Louis and drops him into the water. After reaching the shore, Louis goes back to his mansion, but finds Lion lurking inside his room. Louis threatens him with a gun, but Lion decides to tempt him with the life of a vampire, which will not be filled with suffering. Louis is taken outside, and then he watches his last sunrise, after which Lion bites him. Louis is drained of blood and is on the brink of death, so he allows Lion to turn him into a vampire. Lion gives Louis some of his diabetic blood, which he consumes with passion. Louis experiences a painful transformation, but successfully turns into a vampire and will now stay young forever. Having turned over to the dark side, Louis enjoys the beauty of the night. Reporter asks Louis about the standard vampire myths, but the only one that's accurate is their need for coffins. Louis resumes his story and we see him being tucked into a coffin by Lion. Later, the vampire brothers enjoy the company of a night lady, but end up draining all of her blood. Louis refuses to take her sexy life, but Lion's already done it for him. They leave a tip for the corpse and go back to Louis's mansion for a meal. They're served by a maid, but Louis wants to bite on her body and taste her hormones. However, he controls his vampire urges, and Lion tells him to be more composed. He catches a rat and pours its blood into a wine glass, which is then given to Louis. Lion explains that vampires can survive using animal blood, but he would much rather hunt humans. Lion and Louis go to a party, and we learn that Lion's favorite blood comes from aristocrats. The vampire brothers spot a rich granny with her hormone lover. Lion says that she plotted the murder of her husband and asks Louis to read her mind. He's unable to do it, so Lion explains that every vampire has a different kind of dark gift. He tells Louis that Granny had blamed the murder on her slave, who was then tortured under the false accusation. Now, Lion takes Granny's lover and feasts on his blood, while Louis goes for a walk with Granny and her good boy dogs. He's about to drink her blood, but is unable to do so, and attacks her good boy dogs instead. Lion rushes to the scene and ends Granny immediately, after which he mocks Louis for being a chicken vampire. Louis attacks Lion, but is told that he will not be able to survive without him. Louis feasts on some chickens and decides to live on their blood. However, his slaves find dead bodies everywhere because of Lion, so they begin to chant voodoo spells. Lion tells Louis that they should go to Paris, as his own mentor is also from there. Louis wants to know the meaning of his existence, but Lion just wants to get out of here and try some French cuisine. Louis realizes that he will soon run out of chickens, and then Lion rides away. The maid shows up and asks Louis to get rid of Lion, because all the slaves are scared of him. However, Louis gives in to his vampire hormones and ends her servitude. He hands over the maid's body to his slaves and tells them they're all free because their master is the devil. Louis goes on to burn down the mansion, but Lion shows up and saves his life. He's upset that Louis has ruined the mansion because now they must live on the streets. Every day for Louis turns out to be a living hell, as we see him in New Orleans with Lion and some night ladies. One of them is put to sleep, after which Lion drinks some blood out of the other night lady. She starts to panic, so Lion tells Louis to end her suffering. He refuses to do so, even when Lion puts the night lady in a coffin, so eventually, Lion has to end her nightlife. Louis is scolded once again for being a chicken vampire, and then we see him feasting on some rats in the middle of the plague. As he walks through an abandoned alley, Louis finds a girl named Claudia, who is with her dead mother. 
She begs Luis for help, but he cannot control his urges, so he drinks her blood. Lion sees this and celebrates Luis becoming a real vampire. Luis figures he is only at peace when he kills, so he hides among the plague rats. Lion finds Luis and takes him back to their place where Claudia is seen resting. Louis is surprised to see her alive and is even more shocked when Lion turns her into a vampire. Claudia is shown to be extra thirsty as she drinks a lot of Lion's blood. He invites an attendant to the room but ends her quickly so that Claudia can enjoy her blood. Despite the double course meal, Claudia wants more blood, so Lion tells her to calm down because vampires must not drink dead blood. Lion explains to Claudia that their victims go to heaven, but Louis says that they will go to hell. Lion doesn't want to hear such talk because he believes that Claudia is his daughter as well as Louis. Claudia hugs Louis because she has two dads now, but Louis calls Lion a fiend for using her as leverage. Time passes by as Claudia is raised by the Vampire Brothers and Lion grows fond of her because she has a lust for killing that matches his own. Unfortunately, she keeps attacking people in their own house, so Lion has to explain that she should only feed outside their residence. Claudia prefers to sleep in Louis's coffin, even after she gets her own. However, she's a bratty vampire who continues to attack people at home, such as her piano teacher. Lion takes over and makes her a piano pro, after which the both of them target wealthy families for their meals. With advancement in trade, more foreigners start to visit France, but Lion doesn't like democratic blood. Claudia finds a nude woman singing a song and admires her. She tells the Vampire Brothers she wants to be like the nude woman, but they know this won't be possible, as Claudia is already more than 30 years old. One day, Lion gives Claudia a doll, but she refuses it because she wants to grow up. Claudia goes crazy when Lion tells her to discard her older dolls, and she reveals that she's been hiding the nude woman under the dolls. Lion doesn't want to see a rotting body in the house, but Claudia cuts her curls because she wants to be different. Her hair grows back because of her vampire powers, so she slashes Lion out of rage. He recovers in an instant and scolds Claudia, after which she runs to the balcony. Louis goes to her and is asked why he and Claudia were turned into vampires by Lion. He explains that Claudia will never grow old and proceeds to take her back to the same spot where he fed on her. This triggers Claudia's memories and she remembers how both Lion and Louis ruined her. She walks away and it makes Louis depressed. Claudia makes up with Louis because he is important to her. She wants to get rid of Lion, but Louis says he will never let them go. Claudia comes up with a plan and meets Lion later while he's playing the piano. Claudia manages to trick Lion into drinking blood from a couple of drunk boys she captured. Lion thinks that the boys were given absinthe, but Claudia reveals that she gave them laudanum, which has already killed them, but kept their blood warm enough to fool Lion. Vampires are not supposed to drink dead blood, so Lion suffers, and Claudia even slashes his throat. Lion seemingly dies from the dead blood, and Claudia makes Louis throw his body into the swamps, where an alligator attacks him. Now, Claudia decides to go with Louis to explore Europe and look for other vampires. They book a boat and wait for the carriage, but Louis gets attacked by Lion, who now looks like a vampire zombie. He reveals that he managed to kill the alligator that attacked him and has survived off snakes and vermin to regain his strength. Lion attacks Claudia, but Louis burns him and escapes with her in the boat. They watch on as the entire mansion burns down with Lion inside it, and then the duo proceeds with their journey. Despite their efforts, they are not able to find a single vampire, so Louis and Claudia decide to live their best lives together in Paris. One night, Louis is greeted by a vampire copycat who copies his movements and teases him. Copycat's boss shows up and gives Louis an address where he and Claudia can find other vampires. Later, Louis and Claudia watch Copycat during a play. Suddenly, a woman is brought to the stage and is tortured in a way that makes it hard to distinguish whether she's acting or not. Boss shows up and drinks her blood after taking off all her clothes, which makes Louis call him a monster. The play ends and Boss takes the vampire duo to his underground home, which is a vampire colony. Louis wants to know the source of all the vampires because he thinks people like him are evil. Boss explains that he's the oldest living vampire at 400 years old, and vampires are indeed the only true evil in the world. Claudia takes Louis away, but Boss hears his thoughts about betraying Lion. He states that the only punishable crime among vampires is to kill their own kind. This makes Claudia nervous, and she tells Louis that Boss was asking her soul to leave him. Louis promises to always be with Claudia, but meets Boss later because he fears for her. 
Boss tells Louis that Claudia is in danger of the other vampires because they know she killed Lion. Louis is upset to hear this, but Boss tells him that he's better than the other vampires because he has humanity within him. Boss strokes Louis's hair and explains that he knew Lion who wasn't worthy of any affection. Louis feels better now because he has faith in Boss, but finds Claudia with a sexy woman named Babe at home. Claudia wants Louis to turn Babe into a sexy vampire so that she can have company after Louis leaves her for Boss. Louis doesn't want to do this, but eventually agrees because of his guilt over what he did to Claudia. However, as Babe completes her transformation, Copycat and his vampires break in and kidnap them. The vampires lock up Louis in a coffin and leave Babe and Claudia in a chamber, which allows sunlight inside. Louis screams in desperation as the sun comes out and burns both Babe and Claudia. However, Boss only saves Louis after sunset, and he rushes to save Claudia. Unfortunately, when Louis breaks into the chamber, he sees both Babe and Claudia burnt to a crisp. He is immensely upset to see Claudia in such a horrid state and starts crying. He sheds a tear even in front of Reporter and explains that vampires only cry once or twice in an eternity. Back to the story, Boss tells Louis not to fight the vampires now because there are too many of them. Louis waits till everyone is asleep in their coffins and then he burns them all. Some vampires jump out of their coffins, so Louis slashes them with a giant sickle. Now, Copycat shows up and gets into a brief battle with him. Eventually, Louis anticipates his super speed and slices him in half. The sun rises as Louis exits the vampire colony, but Boss saves him. He tries to tempt Louis into joining him, but Louis exposes his plan. It turns out that Boss had orchestrated the assassination of Claudia and Babe so that he could save Louis and gain his confidence because he doesn't care for the other vampires. Louis simply abandons Boss and leaves him to rot in eternity. Back to the present, Louis tells reporter that he went all over Europe, but could only see Claudia everywhere, so he returned to America. As time progressed, Louis could finally see the sunrise via film, television, and Daniel C.C. movie channel. One night, he smells death nearby and recognizes the scent, so he follows it to an abandoned building. Here, he finds Lion, who is still alive, but weak from a lack of human blood. He admits it was a mistake to make Claudia a vampire and asks Louis to join him, but gets declined like an overdraw credit card. A helicopter passes by and the lights bother Lion, but Louis explains that vampires can enjoy fake light. Now, Louis tells Reporter he left Lion and now wanders around in disappointment, but Reporter doesn't want to end the story like that. He offers to become a vampire companion, but this angers Louis, so he slams his fat ass to the ceiling. He eventually spares Reporter, who runs away like a chicken and gets into his car. Reporter plays the tape and begins to hear Lewis's story, but then Lion shows up from behind and drinks his blood. Lion gets his strength back and drives the car, but he shuts the tape because he's heard this story for hundreds of years. The movie ends with Lion offering Reporter a choice to become his new Lewis as he drives into the city looking for new adventures. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.